And welcome back to the FitBiz Journey podcast with your hosts, Parita Patel and Daniel Neary. Today we're going to talk about how to be efficient and operate productively. Is that a word? I think mm-hmm. it is. Um, and get shit done, GSD. So we're going to go over a lot of different tools and life hacks or time hacks, whatever you want to call them, um, that have been working really well for us. Things that we've recently come across, things we've been doing forever. Daniel is the master at this, um, so he has a lot of value to add. But I mean, if you think about it, you know, do you ever wake up and start your day and then just look at a list of things to do and feel like it's just getting bigger and bigger by the minute? Yep. Everybody has that, right? Yep. And nobody, everybody feels like they're not getting ahead or they feel like they have so much, so many things to do, which by the way, everybody does. Um, so the point of this episode to try to help you, or well, going to help you to figure it out how to get everything done. Basically, I think we talked about it once before that how to get 80% done by only doing 20% of the work. And this really just comes down to organization and it could be as simple as, let's say in my case, that I audit my time completely. And I just, we're just talking to Parade about this, that for example, if I need to go to, to the grocery store or uh, shopping or whatever, I go to the one where it also has a dry cleaner next to it. It also has the USPS next to it or the post office or stuff like that. And I schedule my time. If I need to go to Publix, that's the grocery store I go to or Whole Foods, then I only go if I also have to go to the post office, UPS, or I, I have to also pick up my dry cleaning. So that way I just park once, not like, you know, four different times on a different sorry, on a different days, because if you add it up through a whole year, if you do that multiple times, that when I audited my time, that ended up being a whole week of 40 hours of work just by uh, going to the store when I felt like or when I needed to go. So this way, when I audited it, it turns out that I can have an additional 40 hours of work week in a year. So what would you do if you have 53 weeks, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, just that little thing. So imagine how, many you, how, many, how much you could find that you're wasting because there's just so much. Yeah. Um, people make fun of me for being really organized. Like I need every hour of my day planned. Otherwise I literally won't do something like I'll throw in when I'm supposed to shower or when I'm supposed to eat a meal. Otherwise it'll just completely throw me off. Um, efficiency can be anywhere and anything. 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there, just like Daniel mentioned, Mm -hmm. that adds up and that's the time that you need. Um, exactly one year and about four months ago, I was offered the position to be the chief operating officer for you fitness. It's not like my job description said, Hey, you're incredibly organized and that's why you're going to get this. So it's not like I knew exactly what to do when that role was given to me. So in the beginning, obviously it felt like I was drowning, drowning. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm hoping this is right. But these tools that we're going to go over in a few minutes, um, have made a huge, huge difference. And, and I think that this is going to be a very value added episode. Yeah. yeah and, and guys don't get like scared because I know we started with like pretty crazy, like time savings, like yeah. don't go to the grocery store and stuff like that. Yeah. So you don't have to start like that. But I just wanted to point out that even that you can save so much time, like a whole week basically, but even just going to lunch will equal to a 40 hour basically, um, work week. If you spend one hour, five days a week throughout the whole year, 52 times, meaning 52 weeks. Um, you're gonna actually also save just with like one hour. The, you know, if you b- bring your own food or you don't go out every time, you will also add additional weeks. So now you also already have two weeks just by yep. doing these two things. And but the point is because so many people say you know they don't have time, so that's why just we want to clear this out to how to help you save time. Yep. And then never say that I don't have time unless you have actually audited your time, just like your financials. Like when people say they don't have money, but they don't even know what's going on in their financials. It's basically the same thing with the time too. Most people say they don't have time. They don't know where they spend it. So that's why it's so important that the very first thing you do, you pull out like a piece of paper and you just write down every single thing and be 100% honest. Netflix, um, cooking, going out, um, commuting to work and all these things. You social know, have to, media um, social is media, the yeah. biggest one. Yeah. You probably have no idea how much time you spend. It just yeah. Oh, I'm just going to check Facebook really quick. Oh, and there are apps, but I totally forgot, yes. by the way, what it is, what the apps for social media, but there is an app that times you and, and won't allow you to open it up, but only certain times a day. Yep. And you can like time it that how much um, you're spending on it or how much you're limiting yourself to it. Yep. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. But there are so many tools. So um, many. Yeah. But time is money. Yeah, so sure. if anything, you don't have time to waste, right? So, yeah. so let's get started. Yep. So we have a lot of things on this list. Um, I feel like we should start off high level and then get into the specific details. So what do you think, Daniel? Kind well, of in this at this area and this area? Yeah, so, well, the very simple one, we can start with the journal and planner, right? But um, 
Yeah, but um, I'm see? so organized. <laughs> yeah. And this is not my handwriting. Yeah. Mine is prettier. They're but, color coded. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so journal. I have my journal, and Perita has her planner. Planner. Yeah. So it could be very simple, and I think I talked about it. It's just there's nothing in it. I actually like to have it completely empty, and if somebody looks at it they're gonna be like wow this is like crazy how do you even know what it is yeah. well you know there are some people who just look at it and they see pictures and some like matrix and some people like just see the the completely planned out color coded like Perita and everything mm -hmm. and for some people that's overwhelming so for some people the other one is you never know because they're two different brains but anyways so so yeah number one um, i would recommend that you start with journaling and you don't have to buy a journal but how i really recommend it Richard Branson even has one and he tr he uses it every single day even though he also has phones and assistants. He still uses a journey like this and writes down everything during every meeting. And he doesn't allow like any tools in meetings besides notepads and like journals. Yeah. Which is also pretty cool. But anyways, <clears throat> do you want to say something about the uh, journal? Yeah, um, so I have a journal and I have a planner. The planner really allows me to make sure that I'm getting everything that I need to do within a day. The planner is, um, sorry, the journal is more so about feelings, thoughts, um, things that I want to remember, things like that. Um, the biggest thing is to make sure you're making the time, like you have to set aside the time to do this mm -hmm. stuff, otherwise you won't. It has to be part of a routine for you or you won't do it. And at first, like I love like school supply shopping and like getting new stuff, new pens, new journals, but I remember that I would just not be using it on a consistent basis for the purpose that it serves. Um, this one particularly is from Target. I highly recommend it because it gives you a full like easy to follow list day um, by hours and everything and then it allows you to plan your month and in the beginning it even has like what are your goals and things like that so you never forget those things mm -hmm. but you have to set aside the time to make sure you're planning in your planner. Yeah, it's um, Zig Ziglar also said that who's amazingly successful, used to be, I mean he passed away now, but um, he was saying that that just investing one hour a week, or I think he said maybe he said four hours or something like that, but upfront it's like you invest like 14 hours to plan this all out, but it will save you hours and hours, like months basically, just because you're so organized. But he was the one who highly recommended already back in the time that you do need to invest in organization and uh, having your own journal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Daniel, how do you feel about routines in terms mm -hmm. of a morning routine and an evening routine? Yeah, and so it's very important, right? I have a morning routine, evening routine, everything. So in the morning, you know, I journal and everything. At night, I already, I go over how my day was that day and write down like three positive things every night that happened to me, uh, which allows me to think positive and look positive to everything. And you know? things you've learned. Yeah, and, and, then, and then after that, I also write down what I have learned today. And if there is nothing that I have learned, then I usually turn on a podcast or something before I go to bed so I can learn something that is actually useful for the business or myself for personal development. But then I also plan my day for the next day. And when I get up in the morning, I also write down my goals at night and in the morning too, what I want to accomplish this month, this year. And then uh, and in the future, like big goals too, just in a couple of sentences, like I literally have it in my, like all my goals is like all in the morning, I'm listing it every day. But anyways, um, it's good. Um, and then I plan my days out so I know exactly and I don't feel over them because I know what's gonna happen and when and of course there will be crazy things that will come up but if it's if it's not like that like or something like that there's something ridiculous or crazy that you cannot push on then I mean nothing should come up you made an appointment with you or whatever you have the appointment for you can cancel it so just hold hold on to it and get it done that's the only way to do it otherwise you're gonna get all around yeah. and that's the I wrote the article for mm -hmm. it already too about it and uh, edited it of course but um, the, uh, about multitasking and everything, that most people who do so many things at the same time are the ones who get so overwhelmed mm -hmm. and they feel like Burned. they don't get burned out. Yeah, and they feel like they don't get anything done. Yeah. And, and there are just so much things to do. But think about it again, lastly. I know it's getting boring with this, but, but everybody has the same amount of time every single day, but some people just spend it better, right? So you just need to find a way to spend it better. And these tools that we're going to talk about will actually help you a lot. Yeah. So do you want to... Can yeah. I start with my so favorite? We can you go finish yeah. I just want to mention one more mm -hmm. thing about routines. Um, there's a lot of books and resources out there regarding creating your own routine. Um, I've mentioned this in multiple podcasts, but my favorite is The Miracle Morning. It's something that I follow and has worked really well for me in the past. Um, and it's something that's worked for people that hate being morning people like they're not morning people and it still works for them so highly recommended very very easy it allows you to just completely have control over your day 
So that's that. Now we can move on. Yeah. So the well, one I want to start with my favorite is called Sanebox, which was recommended by the founder of Trainual, Chris. Wow. But anyways, so let's start with Sanebox. So Sanebox is pretty amazing because it will allow you to completely clean out your email, like 100%. So it is so cool that let's say somebody email you or your boss or whoever just emails you tons of things, uh, but it doesn't have to be done for to like next week or whatever the date is, or you don't have to look at it and just cloud your uh, email and you have like hundreds of emails, then you can literally just click create a reminder on it and then it will disappear. Like Let's say if you want to deal with it on Friday and today is Monday, then it will disappear from your inbox and comes back on Friday. So it's 100% disappears, so it doesn't cloud your email box anymore. That's one of them. And you can do, like you can create folders and they're smart folders, so they learn. Like you can create like ideas, whatever, um, all these laws, and it will just automatically organize it for you. And it create like spam folders, and it also creates on top of what it's called the uh, sane, sane black hole. So if, if any emails that you never want to receive again, and they keep sending you even though you unsubscribe, you can just grab that email, push it into the sane black hole, and you will never ever get that email again. So it's really cool and it's just that simple. And then there's sane later, which means if by, it, it's AI or artificial intelligence, so it learns um, who you, how you interact, who you email, what's important, what's not important. So it will automatically put the really important emails into the inbox. So that's the only thing you're gonna get. And all the other ones will go into the sane later box, which is like emails that is not as important. And then uh, and there's other ones like sane CC, so if somebody CCs you, it doesn't push you into the inbox because that is not directly to you. So you might don't even have to read it, at least not right now. So it goes right into the same CC folder. So all the CC emails that's not directly to you will go to the CC folders. Mm -hmm. And then what's also cool is when you like, I pitch to media all the time. So when I send like emails, um, it will also show me that who didn't reply back to me. So I can also see that if nobody replied back to these emails, I can see all these emails that I have sent, but nobody actually replied back to it. And all the, there's so many things, yeah. Talk about a way to keep your team accountable. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. And guys, it's also very affordable too. Like mm -hmm. if you're worried about having to spend extra on any of these tools, all of these are incredibly affordable. Yeah. Um, I, it's like 20 bucks a year, by the way. That's nothing. Um, yeah. I had to, I talked to my boyfriend out of spending like 200 bucks on one of these like seminars about how to be efficient and mm -hmm. like uh, even organize your email. And I was like, there's ways around this. There's no need for that. And I just heard about Sanebox. It's so affordable. Yeah. So, so keep that in mind. Like it's a tool that's really going to save you a lot of time down the line. Oh yeah. And, and before I found this, uh, the Sanebox, I was like, I, I mean, I got like 300 emails a day. So imagine like half of those are like shitty, yeah. but then meaning like I don't have to respond them back ASAP, but um, now I, it's completely organized. So I didn't even have emails on my phone because of that many emails I get a day. So it's just like overwhelming. But now that I have same bucks, my inbox is like almost done to the zero because it automatically does the stuff for me. And before I was thinking about even going to Fiverr.com, which is also a very useful um, website that you should definitely check out like Fiverr, like the five okay. ER. It's not even kind of, on the list. Yeah, it's on the list. Yeah, it should have been. But it's, yeah, but it's really good because you can get so many things done. But I almost went there and I was going to hire like an assistant but, uh, per month who can just like manage my email. And that's when I found Sandbox. And I was like, oh yeah, this is like so much cheaper. Way better. And better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so what do we want to go next with? I was thinking this because okay. this is how people can play in their actual time, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So this is something called Opus Domini, right? Um, mm -hmm. I believe it comes in app form. Um, but I'll let you start because you have okay. the most experience. So I have it on my phone and what it does is that you can like organize your to-do list. It's almost like, like I said, getting the uh, work, do 20% and get 80% done. But the way you set this up is it's like A1, B1, C1, D1. So it's organized in like A, B, C, D and then also by numbers. So A is like the thing that it must get done and until you get that done, nothing else cannot be touched. So the B and the C and the D and D is something like running errands, like going to Publix, that would be a D. Um, and isn't something, that something you would want someone else to yes. basically take over because mm -hmm. you don't, you shouldn't have to do something like that. Exactly. So the D's are the ones that you want to get rid of eventually and just delegate it out. Yeah. And then the C's are the one that is getting there to also delegate it out eventually, but you st should still like do it, for example. Um, and then the B's are the ones that just doesn't need to be done today until the A's are done. Does that make sense? So it's like, yeah. Um, and then the A is like the rule number one that if you set it for like Tuesday, that has to be done or, or and until it's done, you cannot do anything else whatsoever. 
And, and the reason, the only way you can do this, by the way, if you actually analyze all your to-do list in, and organize them, and then you realize that what is the one thing that you can do that will allow you to get either everything else done or make it completely unnecessary or at least easier by doing that one thing. And if you know the answer to that, and this is really truly the one, then there's no way you should be doing something else, you know? And that's what the people that make the mistake most of the time. Well, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. isn't there a, a book mm -hmm. or a, a strategy associated with this? Well, it's Tools of Titans. They okay, that. that's and on then, the list. So I, then, I just want to confirm. And then also The One Thing is also a book by Gary something, I think. That's also a book that also has this thing that will help you organize. Mm -hmm. I really highly recommend the book, by the way, The One yeah. Thing. Yeah. We'll include all that in the show notes. Yeah. Um, but the biggest piece of that is it's very important to organize your time by importance as well. Um, I already do that by being like, here's number one to do, here's number two, three, four, five. So this is a much more organized way to do it because what happens, I believe, is if you don't finish something, like on a B list or whatever, mm -hmm. it rolls over into your into your list. So it just it doesn't disappear. Yep. So that it's easy to disappear if you just wrote on a, on a piece of paper and then you forgot where you had that paper, but this will keep you organized yep. so that you don't forget those things. Yeah, and then yeah. the same, I think we can go into the Siri because yeah. the Siri one is like the easiest one that, hey Siri, remind me in two hours to do X, Y, and Z, or hey Siri, remind me every Monday at 2 p.m. to come and back for 20 minutes on my social media, or there are so many things, and it's so easy, even when you're driving, that's why I do that all the time, yeah. but I'm driving, I always say, hey Siri, hey Siri this, hey Siri that, you know, like so many things. And if you don't have Siri, you're out of luck. Yeah, but, but I think Google has one of those too. It does. But, We're just uh, yeah. Apple supporters. Yeah. But, and then the other thing I was going to say, so also personal trainers, gym owners, whatever, like you could literally say stuff like, hey, sir, remind me about uh, my employee's birthday on, you know, Monday, whatever, every year, mm -hmm. on December 4th or whatever. Or, or you can do the same thing for, for remind me to, to do payroll every Thursday at 2 p.m. or or if you're a trainer, remind me to follow up or text my clients every Sunday to motivate them for the week. And there are just so many things. It's so easy and it just reminds you and you just click on either remind me an hour or click on mark as completed and then it will just remind you again when you have done it. And so it's, it's so easy, you know? Yeah, and yeah. that way it also syncs to every other tool that you have. For example, mm -hmm. if you have an Apple Watch or I have a Fitbit, so my notifications pop up here as well and then I can snooze them or not. Mm -hmm. So um, very convenient. The only thing is that uh, it's my personal preference, so I don't like any notifications because that like distracts me. So for example, my computer is on do not disturb mode all day long, so I don't see anything pop up. My phone is the only one that has them. On the only notification I get on my phone is a phone call and uh, my reminders. Mm -hmm. I don't get text notifications, nothing pops up because I don't want anything to bother me. And then, uh, especially when I work, and if I work actually, then everything is at zero, so I don't even take phone calls um, to make sure I can concentrate on one thing, otherwise, you are changing your brain back and forth and you will get nothing done and you will feel overwhelmed. This way when I get something done, I feel really accomplished and I get more energized so I can do more and I want to do more. And then I do, if I, let's say if I do something and I keep doing something else at the same time, then those two things will drain me. But let's say if I was like, just saying random thing, I'm, I'm doing hiring all day or coaching with my uh, trainers. And then after that, I have to do like training or I have to do like, um, sales or whatever that is, uh, or even social media, then it's completely different. So I look forward to do that because it's completely different what I did before. But if I would do it at the same time or just go back and forth, mm -hmm. I would be just drained. I would just want to go home because I did all these things. But now I'm looking forward to it because I already done this and I'm annoyed with it because it was long and you know, you know whatever. But now I'm looking forward to this new thing. So that's not like it that way. I would say one of the best things I've learned, I feel like this list will go on forever from Daniel, <laughs> is how to say no. Um, yes, you're getting emails in your inbox. Yes, you're getting text messages. Just you'll get to them when you need to get to them. It's you're not saving lives. It's a different story if you are. Um, but in terms of immediate, immediate importance, you can just close yourself off to everything else that's going on so that you can focus on the one thing like Daniel mentioned. But that's something that is difficult to do. And we recognize that, but it's something absolutely crucial. Yes. Um, so you can stay focused. Yep. Deep Work, that's mm -hmm. another book yep. um, that allows you to talk about how to get really, really into what you're doing so that you're not letting all these other distractions and, and getting into that multitasking. So we'll add that book to the list as well. Mm -hmm. And Deep Work is really good for especially like authors, artists, and people who are like into like actual, they really, really require Deep Work. Yeah. And of course, if you're writing a book, or whoever you are or whatever, then also Deep Work is a must. Um, and then for CEOs, CEOs and all these, you of course, you have to have your deep work, but you have to schedule it around the times when, when you're not around the employees because 
you have to, of, of course, interact and learn how to actually interact with the employees and come back and all this, so many things. But anyways, yeah. let's move on to the list just because we could talk about all this, but all we're running out of time. Yes, okay. okay. We can Which move one do you want to start with? We could just do Breezy. Okay. You want me to say it or? Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, so Breezy is also from Chris, who is the founder of Train You Well. Yep. And uh, he, he's also um, uh, Mike Orsi's, um, what do you call it? Like a, a coach on how to get more things done. Awesome. So, because he's really awesome at it. So and that's why he came up with Train You Well, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, um, so Breezy is like, um, uh, one of those things that it's, it's you post a job posting for a company, um, like let's say you're hiring personal trainers or whatever you're hiring right now, and then it's posted to every single platform that's out there. So you only post one. So how cool is that? Because before I would have to put resumes, registrations, and all these things to so many websites on Perita. Indeed, yeah. and Craigslist, yep. and this and that, and on and on. And this does it to all, and it also collects it into one. So you can just manage it at one place, which is Breezy. So you should look it up. Just Google Breezy, and then you will find it. Breezy hiring tools or something like that, and it mm -hmm. will come up. Yeah, so, we'll include it on the list. Mm -hmm. um, you can talk about this one, and I'll talk about this okay. one. Okay, so let's knock this one out real quick. So hat, yep. hat suit, hat seat, how do you I say I think it? it's called Hootsuite. Hootsuite, yes. I think that's what it's called. So for social media management. So what you can do is, first of all, you can really analyze your social media with statistics. But secondly, you can have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media uh, pages all into one and I think it's like ten dollars a month for like ten social media pages or something like that and uh, and what it is is that you can schedule your posts so because you know the way you can also build your audience is of course if you keep posting at the same time same week same days like on a schedule and you announce that my post coming at this time so people look forward to it now with Hootsuite or Hootsuite I would say you you don't have to worry about that because you can actually just schedule it out even for a whole year and then the pictures, the videos, whatever, you will just post onto it. So it's actually really, really useful and you save tons of times. And uh, it's just amazing because of that. You don't have to actually like post yourself. I mean, you still do and comment, but the point is you don't have to like on the go. You can just have it scheduled and then do the rest after that. It's already saved you so much time. Yeah. And that's huge for personal trainers and gym mm -hmm. owners because you're building your brand, you're building your influence. Mm -hmm. um, so if, if you have so many clients and you feel like you don't have the time, that's going to save you a lot. Yeah. yeah. So? so that's that. Let's talk about Trainual. This one's a little bit of a beast. Um, so we came across Trainual through our um, friends over at Loud Rumor, and this has been amazing for us. So education is a big wave of the future, right? Like if you're building a business, there's no way you can do it without a team to build that business with you. But that team has to be constantly educated and up to date on how your processes work, what you're actually providing to people. So gym specific, right? How to train your clients, make sure that you're giving them the best possible experience, sales training, um, and, and even just the basics of operations. And we used to do everything in Google Docs and Google Sheets. And it's, it was great for what it was, but as a company that's growing and expanding, there's no way that that's going to be sustainable, uh, impossible. So we know that we had to invest in something that was going to help us um, grow in a way that's, you know, more, makes more sense. So Trainual has helped us do that. All of our education is on Trainual now. And you can organize it with chapters, you can add tests. Um, you can schedule assignments for people. It's, it's very organized. We can see exactly where people are at within the company when they're starting with us. But this is how we built our For You Fitness Academy. And um, it's, it's made things easy, not only for us in terms of who's operating it, but also the trainers because they can go back at any point in time and re-educate and relearn something. Um, how often are you adding content to this? Yeah, all the time. Every day, basically. And it's so easy for us to do that as well. And then just let the trainers know like, hey, this lesson's up and running, please go complete it. And we can see them do that. It's an online operations manual, basically. It is, yep. And um, easy to adapt, easy to change. You can add YouTube videos in, which is obviously huge for training. So you have those visuals um, and you can completely customize it into what you need it to be. There's no limit, um, obviously, to what you can add to it. And what it is, is if you guys, and you, you should if you haven't, the book called Emit, if you have read it. Emit. Uh, yeah, it's good. If right. you haven't, you have to. But Emit talks about that how you need to, uh, you know, create your operations manual and then you create all these policies and everything in a company. And so you're able to replace yourself and teach the new hires and make them successful. So Trainual is basically what you need to be actually able to use Emit. So you mentioned that, that without Trainual, you won't be able to do it, or it will be way, way harder, and Trainual makes it easier. 
So if you read Emith, then also sign up for Trainual because you should read it and also you set this up at the same time. And Emith is basically your how to set up Trainual guide. Like it will exactly break it down that how you do the, the training for your trainers, your employees, the hiring, firing. There's so many things, all the policies. Emith basically is like a, the 101 user guide for Trainual. Yeah. How to set it up. Yeah. And to give you some numbers behind it, um, we've had multiple waves of new hires over the past year. So let's say that we had one wave a year ago and then we just had a recent set of graduates um, now. And just looking at their statistics and their new sales rates and their retention rates, everything is off the charts compared to what it was before we had Trainual. So keeping your team organized, keeping your education organized is so beyond crucial that from a financial perspective, it's going to improve all of your sales. It's going to improve everything that you you're doing so well, um, and, and you know on top of that that is it's really cool because if something you know they need to do something and don't know something about it, they can just search for it and then uh, it will come up like how to replace the, the, the mm -hmm. yeah the toner in the ink I mean the ink in the printer or how to set up the music or how to take payments or whatever it is they can mm -hmm. just search for it and it will come up and they can see the complete guide because you have created the online basically operations manual yeah and again like if you put it into print which we used to do that back in the time then you would have to replace it and do all these edits and, and all the version and yeah so the here search it's way box. easier yeah, yeah i'm sorry yeah that's no, okay yeah. um i was saying the search box is also huge because if that wasn't there what are they going to be doing mm -hmm calling you and asking you how to do something, which is gonna take your time away again. And how many times are they gonna ask that? Every person's gonna have the same question. So uh, for them to easily be able to look something up, time back in your pockets. Yeah, since Freda mentioned that, so anytime that somebody asks you anything, that's how you create also your content, internal content and external content. So your social media and for your uh, trainual. So if you have trainers asking you questions, create videos, uh, break it down to text, break it down to slides, pictures, whatever you want, all these things, break it down and edit it to train you. And that way, because if one X asks, everybody will ask eventually, so that way you have your policies. And the same thing, if your client's actually asking you questions um, the, about whatever, workout, diets or anything, mm -hmm. you also create a video and then post it to YouTube and send it to them. Because they, if one asks, multiple will ask, I guarantee you. And this way you also get more things done with just one job. And this is how you also can figure out how to create content for your social media. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, so next, what is it? So the last thing is actually what we've already taken care of because it's just a few mm -hmm. books that we recommend like we always would. Um, we already covered Miracle Morning and Daniel mentioned Tools of Titan. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't heard of it, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is obviously going to be one to get you in the right mindset. Um, and, and habits are obviously huge mm -hmm. for, for being successful with your time. Um, we mentioned probably three or four other books. I don't know mm -hmm. if there's any else that you wanted to add. Well, there's lots of them, but we will just link them, link yeah. them in, and then we organize them to make it look better. And then, and then uh, I just highly recommend that if you are a company at any level, if you, and before we, you know, stop this, I just want to recommend one thing that if you're a company that is very small right now, but planning on growing, even if you're small, you need operations manual, no matter what, um, for yourself. So when you eventually hire your first person, you can just give that person to the operation manual, but instead of giving them like an actual handbook, you should definitely use Trainual. And then if you want to grow your business to a hundred uh, locations and tons of employees, then you must use Trainual. And I just highly recommend Trainual and to give you a statistic that Perita already mentioned. For example, our, our new people that we hired that went through the CS training and all the Trainual education, um, we had, uh, basically what was her best one like she had 13 trials and she signed up 12 of them for example so it's like a really amazing sign up rate i don't know what's your sign up rate but i'm pretty sure it's not like that i hope it is though but uh, and then the our other trainers did had the same results uh, they had eight trials and signed up seven um and then before this our sign up rate would have been like 20 to 30 percent uh, for new trainers and that's why we hated having new trainers at first because um, we knew that we're going to waste so many leads and so many new clients who come through the door. But since we have Trainual, we can actually um, see and test what's their weakness and strengths. And then we work more on that and they can go back to it. And the sales process is clearly right there. They can review it on the computer before the clients walk in and just use basically what they read. They can even like glance at it if the client sits in front of them. Mm -hmm. So it's just so awesome. And it allowed them to almost have a 100% sign up rate, which is amazing. So I highly recommend Trainual, so go check them out. A hundred percent. We'll include all their details as well in the notes. Yeah. And then, so let's, this is it for now, just yeah. because, you know, we understand that you are also busy. Yeah. <laughs> so let's hope that this will help you a lot. I guarantee you that what we talked about today will save you a couple of weeks of full 40 hour work week times, basically. Mm -hmm. I hope I gave you back, we gave you back at least like two weeks of your life. 
Um, please um, rate our show. We would really appreciate it below. Please subscribe to it. Please share it. If you know anybody um, who would benefit from this, share it to them. Um, our number one goal is to help you so you can help us revolutionize in the fitness industry and putting a stop on obesity. So just thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And we will be here next Monday again at 6.30 a.m. Have a good one.